This morning, the Israelis, Israeli defense is tightening its grip around the Gaza Strip. The country's leaders say the war with Hamas is now entering a new phase. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken visited the country yesterday for the second time since the brutal terrorist attacks from Hamas four weeks ago. He reaffirmed the U.S. support for the Israelis fight against Hamas, but he also called for a pause in airstrikes to bring humanitarian aid to the city. Blinken says a pause is the right move for the safety of innocent Palestinians and to secure the release of 240 hostages. Each of these efforts would be facilitated by humanitarian pauses. But just minutes after Blinken's remarks, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu confirmed Israel will not consider a pause or cease fire. The Gaza Health Ministry says over 8,000 Palestinians have been killed since the start of the war. This week, the United Nations overwhelming, overwhelmingly approved the resolution calling for immediate ceasefire. We now know the number of Americans who escaped Gaza in the last two days is more than 100. They were allowed to cross through the border between Gaza and Egypt. U.S. officials say more are expected to leave Gaza in the coming days. The border opened on Wednesday for refugees fleeing.